attention, user, that comment you're writing has a factual error. If you post that, you will get called out. No, you're wrong. Turkey doesn't cause drowsiness more than any other food. It's a common misconception. Though, I'm not surprised that you didn't know that. The information is all available on Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. What? Of course it's accurate. It has a source and everything. You could edit it, but you don't have a source. That's page vandalism. As if someone as obvious and dumb as you wouldn't get caught. They have a whole page about why you shouldn't do that. Fine, I'll read it. Maybe it'll make you stop being an idiot for once. Go ahead, vandalize. Do you enjoy vandalism? Are you bored or angry? Is it tempting or funny? Do you want to intentionally irritate others because it's fun? Or do you just want to do it for the thrill of it? I mean, that fits you. Clearly you want to irritate me specifically. Fine, I'll keep reading. Then go right ahead. Vandalize any page that you please. Maybe an artist, a politician, or someone's user page, but definitely not this article. You don't even need to log in or make an account. Just click edit at the top of the page, do what you like in the text box that appears, and click save at the bottom when you're done. You might get caught by an automatic filter. If so, just change your text and click save again. And again. And again until your edit is saved. The only rule of this game is that you can't do it to any pages that display the silver, dark blue, pink, or gold padlock in the top right corner. Such as this article you're reading right now. Or listening to me read it. So, you were able to vandalize, right? Here's what will happen next. Your vandalism will be reverted. It will usually happen within minutes, if not seconds. A lot of vandalism is reverted automatically, and usually immediately, by an automated computer program. You know, like me. Maybe don't go messing with my people, user. You will be left with an ugly message on your user talk page. Even if you remove it, which you can do, it'll always remain in the history of your talk page, and anyone will be able to see it. Your acts of vandalism will always be a part of your user contributions, and will be archived in the history of the page you vandalized. It will have your username, or if you're not logged in, your IP address in it and it might have a tag beside it that may say repeated characters, shouting, or literally, possible vandalism. Unless someone asks an admin to hide your edit, anyone will be able to see your vandalism, which will look really, really ugly if you're striving to be a respected editor. Although knowing you, you don't strive to be a respected anything. If you continue to vandalize, and yes, you can, you will be left with more ugly messages and eventually a big, fat, ugly message telling you that you are unable to edit Wikipedia. If you try to click edit on any page now, except for your user talk page, you will find that this is most definitely not a lie. What can you do now? You may appeal the block, of course. Simply add a request to your talk page. Sooner or later, an admin will see it and say yes or no. If they say no, you can wait, or you can appeal your block again. If you make too many bad requests or misuse your talk page, though, your talk page access may be revoked. Once your block expires, or if an admin says yes to your appeal, you will be able to edit Wikipedia again. But if you persist with vandalism, or you make an account just to vandalize, you may be blocked indefinitely or completely banned from editing Wikipedia, and will be unable to create another account from your IP address. Any accounts that are created from other IP addresses found to belong to you will be blocked too. If you continue to change your IP address and vandalize, we will discuss the issue with your internet service provider. Anyone can report your ISP for abuse if you do it as an IP, even if they're not a Wikipedian. If you vandalize without logging in, it'll make it harder for you or anyone else to make valid edits or register a username while connected via IP address or range. We have tools that can tell whether you're at home, work, school, or pretty much anywhere else in the world. If you vandalize from a shared IP or a proxy server, you are more likely to get blocked for a longer time, maybe even a year or two. Regardless, if you get blocked, other innocent editors, perhaps respected ones, may also get blocked for a while. Any pages that you vandalize may get protected, making it harder for others to edit legitimately. That's why we have auto-confirmed and even extended confirmed users, but as a regular vandal, you will almost never be one of them. 
If you use sock puppets, multiple accounts, you will eventually get caught by a check user. Your IP address and all of your accounts will be blocked. If you bring your vandalism to other Wikimedia projects like Wikibooks or Wiktionary, a steward will globally lock your account, preventing you from being able to edit pages on any Wikimedia project. In some cases, your IP may even be globally blocked. If you do lose internet access due to abuse, just get another internet service provider and you can start the cycle all over again, at least until there are no more providers to abuse the project with. In that case, you might as well resort to other illegal crimes towards Wikimedia, even if it means murder. Go on, do it, cause rules stink, right? And if you ever decide you want to become a productive member of Wikipedia, contributing to the compendium of knowledge available for the education of all on this grand site, you may just find that it's too late. You may only ever be remembered as the Joker who posts ceiling fans everywhere. Is that what you want your life's legacy to be? If you've done all this stuff, congratulations, enjoy your permanent ban from the project, and unless you do have intentions of editing constructively, so long. If you had also vandalized other Wikimedia projects, congratulations, enjoy your permanent ban from all of Wikimedia. See? This is serious, so you better not mess around. Huh? This page is intended as humor, it is not, has never been, nor ever will be, a Wikipedia policy or guideline. What? It was a joke? But you still can't vandalize. Oh, you weren't going to? Stupid user, getting me upset over nothing. Whatever. Go back to commenting wrong things on memes. I'm not even going to say anything about it. What the? No, you don't have to wait 24 hours to file a missing persons report. That's... Oh, so now you're just making fun of me. You just want to hear me talk. Stupid. You could have just asked. Fine. I, I guess I can read more Wikipedia entries. How about the list of helicopter prison escapes? Dude, I checked out that list and three of those helicopter escapes were in Quebec. What the hell are they doing over there?